Alright, I am back. On to the second episode. Recorded right after the first episode. So if there's anything that I've, uh, missed or anything or done or whatever that you guys feel like you need to point out or something, chances are you'll probably hit ball with key. What? Anyways, there's probably no point in telling me about it because... You know, I won't be able to actually do anything just yet. It makes a pleasing sound. Alright, let's put the key in the soup. The key turned black in the soup. Okay, then. Um, then again, you know, I mean, I just recorded... Recording it right after the first episode, there's probably not much for me to actually miss, you know. So, yeah. Okay, then. Alright, so is it uh, this room? Hey, the invisible guy is gone! Oh, actually, I should probably save first. Yeah. Sup, cat. Hmm. Did this move? Nope. That was kind of freaky. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, door open! Let's go upstairs. <gasps> Who was that? Was that the witch? Yes. Yes. Witch. I bet this thing is going to come out. Ooh, cat. Decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. Oh, silly cat. It probably will move. Hint, hint. It'll probably try to kill you. Because, I mean, I can't... I mean, come on now. This game, would you even put it past it? I want to read that. Thank you very much. Poor eyes. Can't even tell the colors apart. Hmm. Probably gonna get killed by a spider or something. Or not. Huh. I could have sworn. Oh! Yep, I knew it. That's a pretty big spider, though. I mean, I could probably say that I've gone over my fear of spiders, but, you know, that's still pretty big. Anyways, it can't tell colors apart, but I don't have any other items around. So then, I'm going to need to collect an item real quick. A vase full of roses. Coincidence? Probably, probably not. I don't know. Uh, whoa there. Laggy again. It's probably my computer. Because my computer is pretty crap. Keys do not open doors in the witch's house. Something else must serve as a key. Interesting. The form of the house changes based upon the witch's magic. Also interesting. Books. Let's read. Wait, what was that? Encyclopedia of Animals. Let's talk. So one of these books isn't going well. I need something to tie them together. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna help you with that invisible man or woman person. It thingamajig. Or whatever. Well, it's red stain, but you know, it could probably just be jam. Ooh, this is number three? Nope, newspaper clippings. Wait a minute, was that something in the mirror? There was probably something in the mirror. I'm gonna go back and check it in editing, and there's probably gonna be something in the mirror. Let's see. Burns down XX and his wife XX were found dead in the wreckage. They brought his front half stab wounds, so it's said they were murdered in the building set and the building didn't set a flame. Additionally, XX's only daughter Ellen, currently seven, has been missing since the fire. The police Well Well, it cracked. Nothing catches your eye. No, I don't want to read that. A funny story. Oh boy, I love funny stories. Once upon a time, there was a rich man pulling along a cart full of treasure. His cart had broken down in the woods, but there came a passing hunter and his dog. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart, to which the hunter agreed. The rich man went to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell when the hunter grew worried for his elderly mother still at home. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. 
When the man returned, he saw the dog on guard. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin. But the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it! So the master killed the dog. Hmm. That wasn't that funny. Actually, it's because of animal cruelty. I'm sure PETA would love that. Now, you know what? I'm gonna say something. How stupid would it be if PETA actually made a parody game of this based on that story and that laughing chair? Really, think about it. Save the butterfly. Okay, so the butterfly is crucial for that part. For that door. Sure, let's take it. Well then, you know what, buddy? You know what, buddy? Whatever. Rope in a barrel. There's rope in a barrel? A little painting of a lady with a parasol by the river. Could be a princess speech. Okay, so I need a book. There's apparently a rope in a barrel, and I need to get that butterfly from the cage. Or case. And... What? Too much stuff to keep track of. Alright. Bound to be something. Because I need to find a rope in a barrel. For some reason... This one? There we go. Got some rope. About to rope me some butterflies. How would that even work? Why did this happen? I wasn't paying attention at all, so I have no. Was this. Oh, that thing moved. Yeah, it totally moved. Alright, so do I use the rope? Nope. How about this? Wait a minute. Nothing of importance here. Um, what was in here again? All oh, right, all these books. Uh, tsh, what do I do with a rope? A piece of rope. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot about this invisible guy. Ah, you're giving me this? Yes, give the rope. Thank you. Take this. Book of Death. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. You know what? I never checked this letter. Mind if you go to her house, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon, Dad. What? You're telling me, Jack? I'm supposed to be in this house? What? Or maybe this is the wrong letter. Maybe this letter is that girl I saw earlier. But that wouldn't make sense. Whatever. Let's read that book of death. But reading the contents. Actually, no. Can I save? Yes, I can. Anyway, it's clear that thing moves. Alright, book of death. Let's read it. See? I, I figured something like this would happen. I figured something like that would happen, which is why I saved first. You just gotta check that some- You just gotta check that thing. It said, but reading the contents. Anyways, what the heck? Probably went either downstairs or in- Yeah, most likely downstairs. There's no way it went into that room. Anyways, I already saved, so... Whatever. Well, gee, I wonder what I should do. No, didn't mean to read it. Come on now, I'm right next to it. It should have just worked. Wait a minute, was her eyes like bleeding or something? I'm gonna go check that later on in editing. Anyways, book. 
No, don't read. Put it on the there. There you go. What? Oh. How would you even ever know what the heck was that? For one thing, how would you ever know she was left she was grinning at you? You couldn't even tell unless you actually checked it. For a second. I mean for another thing. What the heck was that that just killed me? Wait a minute. Was that the knight? How would you even escape the knight then? Hmm. Well, you know what? I've actually been recording for over 10 minutes, so... I'll figure it out next time. That's right, guys. In the next episode, we'll see how to fight that knight. I think it was a knight anyways. I honestly have no idea what the heck it was. It just sounded like the knight. Anyways, see you guys next time.